It is a growing problem across the country, and now Maryland is looking to crack down. A new push from one council member could put a citywide ban on replica guns, taking them out of the hands of children and teens. WJZ is live, and Rick Ritter has more on a bill that is quickly gaining momentum. Rick? Denise, this comes just days after a teen with a fake gun was shot and killed by police in Ohio, and just months after a very similar incident right here in Baltimore City. In the heat of the moment, it's replica guns like these that force officers to make split-second decisions, potential life or death scenarios that are becoming all too common nationwide. This is such an easy problem to resolve. Just days ago, a 13-year-old was shot and killed by police in Ohio after they say he was carrying a BB gun. In April, a 13-year-old took off from Baltimore City Police after they spotted him with a gun. A foot chase ended with the teen being shot and the gun being fake. And in 2014, 12-year-old Tamir Rice was shot and killed by police in Cleveland while holding a pellet gun. Incidents that sparked outrage and now have Baltimore City Councilman Jim Kraft pushing for legislation to ban replica guns citywide. We have too many children who have real guns and we have too many children who use real guns. Even though Councilman Kraft just introduced the bill on Monday night, it's quickly gaining support from some of the city's top leaders. These are dead ringers. They, they look like the real thing. Commissioner Kevin Davis says it's legislation that will undoubtedly save lives. If we take that replica firearm from a kid and, and that kid no longer has the ability to possess it, we have no idea what we then prevent the next day, the next week. In a city that can speak from experience. Do you think we would be having that conversation in this city right now if that incident with the 13 year old didn't happen a few months ago? Is there a silver lining in that incident? Sadly, uh, I, I believe we would not be having this conversation. Something good must come out of, of a tragic situation. New York, Chicago, and Washington have all imposed restrictions on replica firearms, and that bill in Baltimore City could get final approval by December. Reporting live tonight, I'm Rick Ritter, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you very much, Rick. The Washington Post reports since the start of 2015, there have been at least 60 deadly police shootings by people holding toy guns.